Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kerry, and if you've not seen any of my videos before, apart from the one of my daughter having her hearing aids fitted for the first time, uh, they will be um, our meals of the week, and now and again I will show what we've uh, bought from the shops for our food that week. Um, I hope you enjoy it. It's mostly um, a mixture of vegetarian and the odd meat dish. I'm vegetarian and my family eat with me but sometimes I put meat on the side with whatever vegetarian dish I've made. So today is a huge monthly shopping haul. Um, I only go try to go to the supermarket once a month. I was going to do a Asda online order and I sat for so long trying to do it. It's really Asda needs to get better. It, I don't know if it was just me and I'm trying to do things that their app or their website just isn't capable of but really when you go into health and beauty go to um, medication or pain relief and then I wanted ibuprofen and I tried to filter it by Asda's own brand and it brought back as my results Asda's own brand ice cream. I mean ice cream yeah if you're not feeling very well might make you feel a bit better but I definitely wanted ibuprofen but never mind so I gave up and I went to Aldi and Tesco's in the town near where we live they're right next door to each other so I popped into Aldi first and then went into Tesco's and it's all of our store cupboard and um, staples beans and different things and some uh, cleaning products and toiletries and a few little extra bits. I did buy a couple of pieces of clothes for the children and some Lego as a prize because they are out of nappies completely, which is quite good. They're two and three, so they're not doing too bad. Um, so the price was up a little bit. In total, I spent um, just shy of £380. But that did include clothes, lots of toiletries and the Lego for the children and the Lego alone was £40 so you can see where the money's gone there and also those awful middle aisles Naldi get me every time. But my uh, veg delivery is here so I'll very very quickly show you my veg delivery and then we'll get on with Aldi and Tesco's. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Here we go very, very quickly. I'm in the middle of tea and things. And in our veg delivery for this week, we've got two cabbages, two tiny cabbages and some beans. And I did get two broccolis, or calabris, I think the variety of them is. One great big beetroot, which I do pickle all of the beetroots, but I think that one will need a quartering and all sorts. I'm not going to be, if you see, on my hand, I mean I do have small hands but that is a monster of a beetroot and we've got some carrots and there's some more carrots under there weird and wonderful shapes some red spring onions sorry the light's just gone funny there red spring onions a great big courgette and a cucumber I believe it's either a cucumber or a gherkin I get the mix up, I think that one's a cucumber a little uh, ginger, We've got two big red onions and under all of these leaves, sorry, they are our nachos, not <laughs> from the delivery. We've got some, if I can show you in there, some tomatoes, look at those tomatoes. And another cucumber. And if you saw my video a few weeks ago, you could see me asking what on earth this was. It is a crystal lemon cucumber they are delicious and you can like use the whole thing up in a, a, in a one meal but they're so lovely and had a different colour to your plate as well which I'm all about colour on my plate if I can have it help it and we've got a garlic this is a red French variety of garlic I can't remember the variety but it is a red one and I think this is more tomato bags just in there. yes Look, I mean, these, these will just have been picked today in the greenhouse. And I get very excited, but I think it's wonderful. And it's just come from down the road. And then quickly in here, I've got a pepper, another um, 
onion and I've got some um, mushrooms if you can see them it's a little bit better and some fresh new potatoes as well there we go it's lovely so that's our veggies for this week and then I'll get on with Aldi and Tesco's so here we go and here is the shopping which uh Really not looking forward to putting all this away, <laughs> but never mind. It gives me an excuse to tidy the cupboard, sort everything out, and uh, clean the fridge. So, I started in Aldi. Aldi and Tesco's are right next door to each other, as I said. So, popped into Aldi first, got a few bits, and then went across to Tesco. So, we'll start with Aldi. And I have lots of fruit that we picked in the park. So, I've got some puff pastry and short crust pastry to make some turnovers and some pies. And some kitchen towels for tidying up, they should last ages, some bread buns for sandwiches, I love this Sheldon's make, it's really quite nice, I'll actually just take over the, all the bench and the drain board, I've got a tiny kitchen, and some stotties for sandwiches, I don't know if anybody outside of the northeast knows what a stotty is, um, but they're almost a little bit doughy in the middle, but they make great sandwiches, um, a malted bloomer, um, for Steve and I, for toast, some chicken nuggets, and some homestyle seasoned chips from the freezers, and vegetable burgers, and fish fingers for those days when cooking is an option. <laughs> we all have them. Um, some elbow grease rubber gloves. These were on special offer. I use rubber gloves all the time. I have really bad hand eczema, so I have to use them to protect them, and I go through them like crazy. So I thought I'd get these when they were on offer in Aldi in the middle aisles to see if they're any better. It does say super strong, so let's see. And I uh, jigsaw. I like to do jigsaws. And it was only five ninety nine. And I'm a sucker for Disney. So that'll be fun. I got these garden dinosaurs for the children, two ninety nine each. And they come with little paints and I thought they could paint them outside. It'd be a nice outdoor activity for them. Some ibuprofen and Carex hand wash. We all need hand wash. More so than ever these days because we wash our hands every time we do anything. And it's a big tub of peanut butter. Look how big that is. It's huge. That's um, the children and my husband like it on toast. A banana tree in the middle aisles. My bananas are always just on the bench next to the fruit. As you know, but because you can't put bananas next to all the other fruit because they ripen too quickly. So like a little tree. A little monkey on. It's very cute. Children will like it. Some maple syrup to for sweetening um, granola. I like to make my own granola and I don't eat honey um, because I feel it's cruel to the bees. That's just my personal opinion. So we have maple syrup, some stock pots. I use stock pots in my uh, tomato sauces and for soups and things. Mostly it's when I do a tomato sauce. Some mini easy peelers from Aldi. The children really like these ones, so when I go in, I pick those up. Two tins of two uh, cartons of plain tomato passata for sauces and two jars of garlic passata. Some nutritional yeast, the cheesy flavored stuff that vegans use. Um, it's great for a cheese sauce if you don't want to use too much actual cheddar, and it has protein in it and all the good stuff. It's really really good. Lots of B vitamins. Um, Marmite. I love Marmite. And four tins of peeled plum tomatoes. I rather use the plum tomatoes than chopped tomatoes. I find you get a better quality tomato. Lots of beans for soups and chilies and stews. I've got cannellini beans for a white bean soup that I make. That is delicious. Um, some black beans for chilli. Uh, green lentils, garden peas. We my husband likes the tinned garden peas. A couple of tins of reduced fat coconut milk for curries. Some extra virgin olive oil for salad dressings. Um, some A treat cereal. Cocoa peanut butter balls. They love them. These biscuits, the children really like these. I let them have these ones as a treat because we try and make them last as long as we can. They're not in Aldi very much. Chocolate chips for... Pancakes, breakfast pancakes, cookies, and things that we'll make like that. It's two bars of 85% chocolate from um, Aldi, and I'll use that in baking. 
sunflower rye bre seed bread, it's rye bread with sunflower seeds in it and we'll have that for lunch with soft cheese on and avocado and tomatoes. So oh, there's the fish fingers, never mind. Wraps, Mexican, four sandwiches and I'm dropping everything. Two cheeses, like regular cheese for cheese on toast and things, we don't use the... Um, nice deli cheese for simple things like that, or sauces if we're going to make um, uh, macaroni cheese and things. For some reason, I don't know why Aldi's extra mature cheddar is always coloured, but never mind. Mixes it up a bit too. Mozzarella, I don't know if I already said that, but um, for pizza and different things. Some of these thins, they're in the middle aisle. I'm going to make some hummus, so they'll be good for dips. Three loaves of Warburton's whole meal, two for the freezer, one for now. The children have toast every morning as soon as they get up with a, a cup of milk before they have their normal breakfast. And we've got a big crisp box, we go to crisps like crazy. Some Transformers, Cheetos, Puffs, and they like these, which are much better for them. The baked pea snacks, I think it's just because they've got characters on them, but they taste quite nice. So we've got Paw Patrol ones, We've got some poppies, ketchup ones, and some more trolls ones. I don't even know what flavour. Oh, barbecue. And some Cheeto football, the cheesy ones to try. Snacker Jacks. If I want Chris to try and stop making Chris, I'll have these instead. And that is Aldi. There we go. I think that was... Did I say... What did I say it was? It's around the £90 mark, so... And then we have Tesco's. Let's start with the fridge aisle. Some butter for sauces and baking. Two spreadable anchors. They were uh, reduced as well, I think, to 250 or 225. Some yogurts. We use yogurts for breakfast for overnight oats and on granola and in the little granola um, cups like cupcake things lemon curd strawberry vanilla and regular some whisper mousses and aero mousses i let the children have a dessert a yogurt or a mousse or a biscuit or something if they eat all of their tea and some of these ones i've never seen those before i thought they might be nice for mummy and daddy uh, Deadly spread, children like that in sandwiches philadelphia for on the rye bread and i like it in um, sauces as well, cheese sauce. Never seen this before. Thought we'd give it a try. I'm sure I love it. I love cheese. Paw Patrol for much ray strawberry yogurts for the little ones. And some of these. I never buy um, the Muller Corner ones, but it's just for a bit of a treat. Uh, caramel yogurt with different type pretzels and pieces and things. Alpha Bites. Lazy Teas again. I love Alpha Bites, so... That's why I buy them for the children. <laughs> I liked them when I was a child. Um, Cocoa Pops. The children love Cocoa Pops for breakfast. And this was £3. And the tiny box was 2 99 So it was a penny more for twice the size. So it's a no-brainer, really. Two uh, instant coffees for when we don't have any coffee in the filter coffee machine. And again, it was £5.49 in Tesco's for... 100 grams, one of the larger jars of the Azira. I really like, this is my favourite instant coffee. But it was only a pound, for, was it a pound? No, two pounds for 60 grams. So I got 120 grams for four pounds instead of 100 grams for 5.49. Madness. Uh, ramen noodles for uh, noodle soup. I like to make noodle, sweet and sour noodle soup. Diet Cokes, they were seven pounds for 24 on our special offer. Um, Sprawly pasta, I, this is my pasta of choice for macaroni and cheese, which we'll have one day this month. And this just looked really nice, I thought that would be nice with some roasted vegetables and a pesto. Some bouillon, and that is for if I don't need a whole stock cube or just a little bit of stock or like, you know when you just need like 100 ml or 200 ml of stock and something. And it just adds a nice little bit of flavour as well, and also I moved these. Um, soup pasta, we'll put those, I might make a minestrone soup, and some hula hoops, and I've also got red lentils, I prefer, if I can get them, things like this from the uh, World Foods aisle, where all of the 
Indian type food is and it's a, a much bigger uh, packet of lentils there and some sushi rice and some seasoned rice vinegar and some nori there's the nori in there I'm going to make some um, sushi one day for Steve and I poppadoms when we have a curry which will be inevitable the fruit shoots I've got two pack two boxes for the children they were reduced to a pound so I've got those for a treat more beans this is where I get all of my uh, goodness from because I don't eat meat I have a lot of beans I've got pinto beans blotty beans uh, black eyed beans I love those haricot beans they're for homemade um, baked beans and some bean sprouts because I still have some uh, uh, what are they called papers the the spring roll wrappers and I'll make some spring rolls sun-dried tomatoes for my favourite sun-dried tomato pesto my mother-in-law always has, has this so you can get it in focus the Hellman's Caesar can't even, oh, there we go Caesar with smoked garlic salad dressing it's delicious so I thought I'd try that at home salad toppers that was next to the salad dressing obviously that one is the crunchy and aromatic garlic and herb but they will be delicious on our salads some uh, Orange and pineapple, no added sugar, Robinsons, and bananas and apples because we ran out and I won't be at the market until the end of the week. And then we have our cleaning products the Vantage Oxy Action Crystal White. I like to use this when I wash our bedding. We've got white bedding, um, and that was only five pounds. I was using eight pounds. The Comfort Family Pack that's my favourite con fabric conditioner. Three pack of Ariel Original in One tablets. They were only nine pounds. They were reduced. Dr. Beckman Color and Dirt Collector. Love a color catcher. Plasters for the children. Paw Patrol and Frozen. The this was reduced as well. They seem to be having some sort of baby events. I've got bubble bath for the children and hair and body wash. What flavors are they? We've got organic raspberry and sweet orange and some Harpic toilet cleaner, citrus fresh, some bleach for the toilet, baby shampoo, I love the smell of baby shampoo on my children, some organic sanitary products, um, cotton, I want to try those, they were not any more expensive than the regular brands as well, that looked good, some hay fever tablets for my husband, soap, and I thought we'd try this toothpaste, it was on special offer, I think it was reduced a little bit for me and my husband, for my children. Deodorant, a body brush so you can reach the bottom of your back. And this shampoo apparently is really good. Ooh, excuse me. Um, and I'd read good things about it because my hair is very, very dry, but it's also very fine. So I've got the lightweight conditioner and the nourish shampoo. It's all natural, it's got none of the silicones or anything that coat your hair, and it was only five pounds each. I mean, that's expensive for shampoo. But um, that's for, it was nine pounds in Asda. So it was, I definitely got it in Tesco's because it was reduced. Some hairspray, dry shampoo, essentials, bin liners and gardening bags, a bicycle pump because, you know, who doesn't? <laughs> Just for the balls in the garden. And then uh, for my husband, and then for my husband, I brought him a treat. I got him some Tamnavulin Scotch Whiskey and Sherry Cask Edition. And that was reduced. That had £15 off in Tesco's. And these four beers for him were are reduced on, not reduced, on special offer, uh, four for £6. We have got a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc from Marlborough, the Marlborough Estates in uh, New Zealand. That's my favourite. And it's a really small bottle anyone is bothered by just a little bottle and it's supposed to be perfect just for two glasses for having dinner I thought that was really nice and a bottle of yellowtail jammy red roux if you're not keen on red wine but you like it a little bit this is perfect for you it's really fruity it's like um it's a bit like ribena to be honest but I like it and also in Tesco's I picked up some clothes for the children. I got this little jumper dress with leggings for Aeris and some bobbles, which she's already been into, and some 
jumper sweatshirts and joggers for Isaac. Growing like wildfire. And these were their rewards. Ooh. Oh, they've already been in them. The boxes are empty. Isaac got Lego City. He's obsessed with Lego. And Eris has to have the same for their dry nights. And she's got the, the frozen one. But apparently it wasn't good enough because there was no Elsa frozen figure. There you go. Logic of a two-year-old. <laughs> and a pedal bin, which we've used already. That was only £10. Um, our bin was broken in the kitchen, so I just picked one up quickly from Tesco's and we needed to use it straight away. So there we go, hefty shop, and that's for the month, and I I did forget toilet rolls, so I need to go in and get toilet rolls one day when it's really quiet. It was pouring with rain when I went in, so it was nice and quiet, and uh, I'm going to clean the fridge and pop it all away, and there we go. That's what you'll see me cooking with this month, and anything extra I'll need, I'll pop up from, pop up, pick up from our local deli or I pop into Waitrose. We've got a tiny little Waitrose, which I would never do my main shop at. It's far too expensive, but they're really good for the odd thing, the odd unusual ingredient. And if you just need to jump in and sometimes they do, if you keep an eye on it, it's always worth popping in to see if they have any special offers on. There we go.